What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're looking at PE12 Assault Force X, and this is the toy color version of the Assault Force X. Um, standard box, I'm not going to show the back because it just gives away all the extra stuff, but yeah, I figured we might as well take a look at it, and we'll take a look at the toy here, and again, I'm not going to show off the back because there is some remolding, and uh, I don't know, we'll just save that for after. So here it is, pretty nice, I really like the camera mode, I still am not a huge fan of the flash that they've put on here, but whatever, it works. Um, no real remolds to the front, just some repaint, unfortunately, perfect effect is not always really good with their paint work, so you can see kind of around some of the areas where the red translucent that went over the silver didn't really get a very good covering, and uh, I probably need to go back and fix that up myself. But yeah, overall, really nice. Um, for comparison, I have the black version. Um, this guy's been repro labeled. I'll probably end up picking up some repro labels for this guy. Um, looks really good in black though. <laughs> but uh, I really like the toy version here. And just so you can see, with the G1 version, you do have very similar striping. Um, a little bit lower on here than it is on G1. But the change in the colors of the feet and stuff really kind of make this silver that the Generation 1 version had. So transforming this guy is a pretty easy task. What we're going to do is just start by taking all the pieces off here. Because he's very parts formery. But you can't expect a whole lot different when you have this. And we'll just go ahead and take out all of this stuff too. And there are some really nice paint apps that they've put on these guys. I mean, even their their knives this time have a nice paint job to it. And I can't remember the original set, but I am very positive that the uh, Shadow set did not have painted knives. In fact, I will show you that after. So we'll just fold up this base here just to make the shield and we'll set that aside we'll set the knives aside come up here open this top piece here and pull this out, out to make the shoulder pads for one of them I don't know why that's sticking so much there we go and We'll pull out this little handle in here and put this on in until it closes like so. And then we can leave this handle kind of like that. We'll just take all this aside over here, take our lens, pop out these pieces again, push out the combat knives on each side here like so. Open this up, put out all our rifles, might as well make our sniper rifle for one of our guys, and we do that by just kind of plugging this barrel piece in together, and plugging the scope on the top, which always seems to me the scope should go, you know, with the uh, shade facing the eye, but... Um, it doesn't really fit on very well if you do it that way. You really have to put it this way, and that is what the instructions tell you to do. So here we go. We got all our weapons, except for our what kind of looks like the scrap maker. Just kind kind of find the flat piece here and plug it all in. Come on, flat piece. There we go, like so. It spins nicely. And now we're on to the main figures. So, we'll start by pulling these all apart. And they all transform exactly the same way. So you take this, you flip his legs on down. You flip his arms on up. Like so. We'll flip around to the front and you get our first look at the remolds here. Very nice chest. We'll flip his head around. Which, notably, his head has been remolded. So it looks more like the push button 
of the original G1 guy. I really like that change there. And we'll just flip it on around, a little bit stiff, to reveal a head that looks pretty much like the original. And we'll just kind of take him and set him to the side. And uh, you know what? Let's arm him up. We're going to give him the uh, scrap maker type thing, which you peg underneath his hand here. And then you can take this and kind of peg it into this hand like so. And there we go. He's all set to uh, wreck somebody's day there. Like so. In fact, let's actually, let's give him the uh, jetpack too because the jetpack kind of helps counterbalance the weight of the gun. So there we go. Put him like that. Ready to, for some action there. We'll put him to the side. Let's go on to the blue guy now. Again, same exact transformation. Bring this all down. We don't have to do his head. And you can see that that's also been remolded. Completely different than the uh, old heads. Very nice. Very nice chest detailing here. And we'll give him the little rocket pods. I kind of feel bad putting all these ex extra accessories on because I really think these guys just look absolutely awesome looking with their uh, remolded parts being all that you see. I'm not sure. If I put these guys on my shelf, their accessories may find their way back into the box. I haven't decided yet. Come on, Shield. Get on his hand. There we go. We'll put that down, like so. And we'll give him the sniper rifle. Whoops. Having a little trouble with these pieces because I have not had them all armed up out of the box yet. They've just pretty much messed with the robots a tiny bit and then put them into their camera mode. So there we go, there's our second one. And finally the leader. Again, same transformation. And before we put on any of his extra parts, we'll go over some articulation. There is a waist here, really nice. Your head is on a rotational joint. Uh, there's a little bit of up and down based on how it's made. I think it's, I'm not sure if the top is just a swivel Actually, I think it's a ball joint at the bottom, and the whole thing is, is turning when you move it. Um, shoulder, good range of motion, motion, great range of motion. Nice elbow there, uh, just another uh, ball joint. Ball jointed knee. You do have a little bit of movement in the feet, so you can twist them. So if you really want to get them a wide stance, you can twist them and he's gonna actually be able to hold that stance nice knees yeah great articulation perfect effect knows how to make very small toys and just a quick look at his face also remolded to look like the generation one version a little closer I really like that remold there and we'll arm him up with his pieces too let me take the top of the camera break them apart I'll put them on his shoulders this is the only guy that I think really needs to have these shoulder pieces um, everyone else can kinda do without all this extra stuff if you so choose but we'll put this on there we go Whoops. the curse of the video camera you think it's on and take your hand away and it goes flying off There we go. And this one doesn't feel right. There we go. Like this. 
And then we can take these little shield pieces and we can clip them on his arm down here. Just so we can use every piece that's given to us. Clip them on. And we'll give him the two remaining guns. Like so. And I realized I forgot to put on all the combat knives. All they do is just peg right on the back here. Like so. But there you go. Now you got the crew ready to go. We'll give everybody their combat knives just so I don't lose them. And these are just some excellent remolds. Get a zoomed in look at all, all three of them together. Very nice. I really like how these guys look as a set. So let's actually compare them one at a time to their Generation 1 counterpart here. Just looks very nice there. Very nicely captures the head detail. I mean, even the triangle in the front is captured. It looks really awesome. I just love how they've updated these guys. If you don't have them, uh, any version of them, these guys are totally worth picking up. They're just so well done and so look like that Generation 1 toy. Uh, the only real difference is that I see is that this guy has a visor and his perfect effect counterpart does not, but that's such a minor complaint. And then we've got our main guy. You can see he has that visored faceplate there. Just really nicely done. Um, and just to compare, pretty much every single one of them look like this for the original release. Um, obviously he's got the camera parts on his chest, but the heads were all the same, and you can just see how big of a redo these guys are. Um, in fact, just to show, here's our red guy, and this one I have the uh, jetpack and the sniper rifle, and you can just see how huge of a difference that new chest makes. Looks really nice. And our blue guy, again, same face, much better. So yeah, I really like the toy edition colors of Reflector here. If you are a fan of Reflector, I think that this is totally worth picking up because they are an awesome set. Um, if you want the more cartoon accuracy, go for either the original release or the black release. But for the toys, like this is just awesome. I really love how they look. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next week.